it's that time that we cross over to Kisumu County for a fair right here on Friday briefing. That's Mind Your Language with none other than Willis, the Word Master. Willis, great to see you this Friday evening. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being good and what a coincidence. Red and red, Betty. I know, right? We look. I'm, I'm sure we look good. We'll ask the viewers to tell us that. <laughs> Willis, let's go straight to our first word. Now, you've had our Kenyans there on word on the street. That word, meaning a baby's doctor, is it pediatrician, pediatrician, pediatrician? <laughs> which is which, Willis? <laughs> Betty, we say pediatrician. What? Pediatrician, not pie, uh -huh. not pear, and all that. Uh -huh. Pediatrician. So, letter A and E combined to form the vowel sound E, mm -hmm. P, mm -hmm. not pi, uh -huh. P, pediatrician. Uh -huh. Just like we talk mm -hmm. of pediatric uh -huh. and we have pedophile, uh -huh. not pedophile, All right. not pediatric. Okay. So we call that one a vowel digraph. All right, a <laughs> diagraph. I like those words, really. So pediatrician, that's digraph. right. <laughs> Digraph. <laughs> Willis, Willis. Pediatrician. Pediatrician. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Willis, let's move on to our second. And you know, you never cease to amaze. Do we say retrogressive or retrogressive when want to mean a less advanced stage behavior? Is it retro or retro? What is important for us to understand or to know is the prefix is retro. Mm -hmm. Retro. So we say retrogressive okay. retrogressive not retrogressive uh -huh. just like we talk about retroactive mm -hmm. or retrospective mm -hmm. not retro so okay. it's re not re all right got that one willis moving on to our next one do you say presume or presume presumably presumably this also gives uh, people a couple of problems we say presume mm -hmm. presume to uh -huh. presume uh -huh. Just like we talk of to resume, that uh -huh. is the verb. Uh -huh. Resume, presume. Uh -huh. Remember, we also have assume uh -huh. and consume. consume. But in presume, uh -huh. you realize we are using the voice or the sound z. z. Yes. That is a voiced sound z. Presume. Okay. All right, Willis. You know, there are people who say presume. <laughs> but, you know, maybe the tongue is I heavy. <laughs> maybe the tongue is heavy. <laughs> Let's move on, Willis, to <laughs> another one. Now, we have this, you know, group of um, uh, plants. Do we say legumes, legumes, legumes? Which is which, Willis? That word has two acceptable pronunciations when right. you talk of RP, that is received pronunciation. Okay. You'd talk of legumes mm -hmm. or legumes. Legumes what? or legumes. Uh -huh. But the adjective is strictly leguminous. Leguminous. Ah, uh -huh. Leguminous. That will help, you know, students, especially in primary school. So it's leguminous. Got that one, Willis. Yes. <laughs> Moving on to another one. Do we say geothermal power, geothermal? Is it geography, geography? <laughs> which is which? <laughs> Betty, your word is geothermal. Okay. Geothermal. We have the glide eel, which mm -hmm. I normally call or I usually call diphthong. Uh -huh. Dual vowel glide. Geothermal, just okay. like geometric uh -huh. or geochemical geography. Okay. We don't say geography uh -huh. and all that. Okay, okay, we'll just say <laughs> yes. geothermal. Got that one. Now we have yes. another word meaning an association, you know, typically that uh, comprises of several different companies. Is it a consortium, consortium, consortium? Which is which? In that word, Betty, mm -hmm. letter T. Text yeah. sound t, not sound sh. We just say a consortium, consortium, Con not consortium. Okay. It's tiam. Yes. Tiam, consortium. All right, Willis. Now, this other one we use quite a lot. Do we say paper or paper? I was having an argument with a couple of friends saying paper. Were they right or I was wrong? <laughs> Are you talking of the Kiswahili word karatasi? Yes, Willis, karatasi. Is it <laughs> paper or paper? <laughs> <laughs> 
you have the glide A, that is the slight vowel glide A when mm -hmm. you pronounce that word. You say paper, that is P-A-P-E-R. But okay. remember we have ginger or yes. paper P-E, uh -huh. double P-E-R, that one has a pure or short vowel sound A. You uh -huh. just say pepper. Pepper. Pili pili, uh -huh. pepper. Karatasi, paper. Paper. A bit tricky. <laughs> Willis, quickly, there let's, you are, move, Betty. let's move on to your surprise <laughs> word, Willis. Well, tonight, Betty, some friend called Jared Omondi uh -huh. asked me, when we talk of a legal agreement yes. or a promise to somebody, mm -hmm. do we say covenant or covenant? Yes. Many people say covenant. Yes, covenant. covenant uh -huh. Which is wrong. We say ka. Letter mm -hmm. O takes the mid-central vowel sound a uh, as mm -hmm. covenant. 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 Always a pleasure having Willis, the word master, on the show. Willis, have a great weekend. <laughs> You too, Betty, and always it's my pleasure to enjoy what we call the English, English, or acceptable English pronunciations. Bye for now, dear sister. <laughs> All right, bye for now, dear brother. Will is the word master there coming to us from Kisumu County with Mind Your Language. Well, that has been, you know, that favorite segment right here on Friday Briefing. <laughs>